wonder what would happen if you combine Koo and LCR? Well, Big G Creative did. Let's talk about bluffing your dice. What does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review. And today I'm very excited to check out Bluffineer the Dice Game from Big G Creative. This is for 3 to 6 players, ages 10 plus, and take about 15 minutes to play in this very, very shiny box. Before we get into that, though, if you enjoy my content, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. I'm celebrating my ninth anniversary, my nine years doing this, and I'm trying to reach 9,000 subscribers, so I'd love any help you can do with that. But Bluffing Your Dice Game is a really simple family weight bluffing game in which you're going to be taking turns rolling these really cool little bones right here. Uh, there's going to be four different symbols that you're going to see on the bones, and depending on what you roll on your turn, uh, which luckily is really done well with this thick treasure map right here, uh, you are going to be either giving people your coins, taking coins from other people, or having people potentially try to bluff you. And look at those shiny coins. There's so, everything about this game is just so well done. Uh, but if you want to see exactly how the game is played, go check out the Bauer Family Learns we did of it. This is the review. So let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First on the con side, the game's not going to be for everybody for a variety of different reasons. The main reason I think that a lot of people are not going to like this is the insane amount of luck in this game. If you just happen to be rolling lucky, and I think it's the, the two red, if you happen to get two red a couple times, you're probably going to win the game. Because if I recall correctly, that's where you can steal three coins from someone else. And since you only start with like either ten or eight coins, that's a good chunk of coins. Now the game will eventually end when someone runs out of coins, at which point whoever has the most coins is going to be the winner of the game. So there is a catch-up mechanism kind of baked in where if someone has a whole bunch of coins then in theory everyone could just steal from them or try to bluff them but it normally doesn't work out that well in plan now i played this three times i've played it as a family game and i've played it as a game night game so i'm going to speak to both different perspectives on that uh so the next comment i have with this is, is that if your gaming group is into heavier stuff or even medium weight stuff this is probably not going to be a game that's going to go over the most amazing i played it with my game group and they thought it was good everyone enjoyed the game it doesn't outstay its welcome both on the table or on the shelf because it is a relatively small box with some great uh box appeal as you can see uh, which is good, but as a game night style game, I just wanted to slight. I wanted more choices because really it just boils down to roll the dice and then somebody might try and bluff you and try and figure out if they're bluffing and then bluff other people, and that's the extent of the game. Now, as a family weight game, that's great, as I'll talk about in the pros. But as a, a game night style game, I think most game nights are probably going to want just a little bit more meat on the bones if you've moved on to the heavier games. Any other cons that I have with this? Um. Not really, off the top of my head. You know what? I, I, I kind of wish they would have utilized their space just a smidge bit better. Uh, honestly, if it was just on the back or if they just extended this to just clarify exactly what happens in bluffing situations. Now, it's relatively simple. The basic premise is uh, that if you roll the dice and you don't get the symbol that's on your card or the symbol on here, then people have the opportunity to say, give me your booty, which is pretty much them saying that, oh, the, the things you roll on the bone dice are actually what's on my card. In which case, that's where the bluffing game comes in, because the person who has said, oh, give me your booty, now sits there and waits for the person whose turn it is to decide, hmm, are they lying? Are they telling the truth? And if they think they're uh, telling the truth, then they just give them a coin to go about their merry way and you continue on with the game. But if they think they're lying, uh, that's potentially when two, two coins are going to be given from one person to another. And if it was just covered on here, it would just make the game just a, a tad bit more user-friendly. So I really wish they would have done that. And, and if you look at it, you know, so let's look right here. There's definitely some, some extra space here, maybe like a half inch. They could have made this just a smidge bit longer, potentially. And I don't know, just shrank this a little bit and, and just included that. I think it would have made it just, if they do a second edition, I hope they do that. But that's a nitpick. Everything I've got here is pretty much nitpicky. As long as you understand that this is an incredibly luck-based, simple, family-slash-gateway-style game. Moving on to the pros, I think it's a good game. I enjoyed it. Uh, and I'm going to keep it on my shelf. Now, normally, I try and only keep games that I would list as great games, as an 8 or higher. I don't think this is an 8 or higher. I don't think most people are going to think this is a great game. But for some families, I could see it being a great game. Uh, especially if your family is not the deepest yet into the hobby. I think you're going to have a great deal of fun with this. Uh, the gimme your booty thing. Just here's my one recommendation, and I kind of should put this in the cons a little bit, is that a lot of people don't like bluffing games with kids. And if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense, because what is bluffing? Bluffing is lying. So essentially you're telling kids 
that lying is okay, but uh, but I have worked with kids for, for 10 years before the pandemic hit. Uh, I was a daycare. I worked at a daycare. I worked in the after-school program. We played hundreds. I played literally thousands of games with kids. I've done tons and tons of games of this very weight with kids. And as long as you talk with the kids up in advance and you say, hey, this is not cheating. Lying in this game is fine. No one's going to get hurt feelings because we all understand that this is what we have to, this is something you do in the game and we're not trying to hurt anyone's feelings. We're not trying to deceive everyone. Just sit down, have a talk before you play the game and make them understand that in this game, in this small little bubble right here, it is okay to lie about what's on your card. Uh, just as long as you present it in that manner, I don't think you should really be worried about it. At least that's my personal perspective. Uh, obviously, you might you might have stronger morals than I do. <laughs> but, but continuing on to the pros, I think this is a great family game. I really do. I think it's a very good family game if you are newer into the hobby because it's easy to learn. It's easy to teach. The components are top notch. Uh, the bones, kids are going to love playing with the bones. Kids are going to love loving the bones. My kids love saying, give me your booty. And then, you you know, and since you've opened the door to using the booty, you can say, oh, mommy got your booty and stuff like that. And you can have a little, a little fun with it. If you see the Bower Family Learners, we got totally silly. My kids were giggling nonstop about saying it. And, and I think it's a great first bluffing game my first bluffing game bluffing your dice game i think you can't go wrong with any of the kids eh, between the age of you know what i'm actually turning myself around on this one you know i think i was looking at it a little bit too much from the gamer perspective and i was rating it a good instead of great i do think that this is actually a very good uh family game to a great family game I mean, plus it's only 10 bucks. I mean, it's 10 bucks new at Target, uh, which means you're probably going to be able to find it 7 8 when it goes on to clearance. And this is this is a great little get, get present or gift if you're in the market. Because I imagine a lot of people are clicking on this. So, like, should, this, should I get this for my 10 year old nephew? Absolutely. Uh, you'll be able to have it out, play it, goes up to six players. I think it's a really good family game. I'm talking myself into it. Bluffing your dice game. It's going on my shelf. My kids had a blast with it. My game night thought it was good. There you go. If you enjoyed what I'm doing, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. Also, in the comments below, let me know what is your favorite bluffing game of all time. For me personally, it is Sheriff of Nottingham. I adore Sheriff of Nottingham. You know what? <sighs> Talking about Sheriff of Nottingham makes me want to do my next uh, Saturday Night Live stream about bluffing games because they're one of my favorite genres of games. And that is what I will do! Anywho, if you enjoyed what I'm doing, please click on the subscribe button down below as I is my quest to 9,000 subscribers by the end of the year in 2021. Hopefully will be something that uh that maybe you're watching this in 2027 be like, hey, you only got to 8,608 years. I'll be like, oh, shit. But as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.